In this video, I will show you how to integrate our smart power meters with Indusoft SCADA software. We offer different smart power meters, including single phase and three phase power meters. Th those power meters can measure multiple single phase or three phase circuits and high voltage, high current application. We also offer PMC and PMD, which is our power meter concentrator who connects multiple power meters and display on screen or log the power data. Indusoft SCADA software can display, log, and graph data. It can also send email or alarms based on condition, generate customized reports, and support control logic. You can also use it to monitor a full web browser and smartphone. ICP does single phase or three phase power meter can use power meter utility to configure. We can modify uh, communication settings, fill the parameter information, and monitor the channel status, such as voltage, current, kilowatt, um, power factor, frequency, etc. Data log can be saved in the computer in a set interval. Uh, on the screen, you can see this is the power meter utility. It can connect to Mopus LTU or Mopus TCP power meter, depends on the model you select. And to uh, connect to it, it's really easy. You just need to enter the IP address of the power meter and connect or just simply search for the power meters. Once all the communication settings uh, are set up, then we can jump to the Indusoft SCADA software. Indusoft works with our power meters through Mopus TCP, LTU, or other types of connection. It supports many types of driver, including uh, CAN bus, uh, MOP bus, BATnet, even an IP. Project can display voltage, current, kilovolt hour, power factor, and other samples of data. You can also control the relay that are using simple control or logic with scripting in Indusoft uh, software. For the communication settings, uh, we can go to the communication uh, tab. Under driver, I can add other driver and select MOTCP, which stands for Mobus TCP protocol. But if you're using other protocol, such as uh, Mobus LTU, we can look for the Mobus LTU driver. which is this one, MODBU. But in our case, um, this project is used for PM3112-MTCP, which is the single phase Mobus TCP power meter. So we will use the MOTCP driver in this case. After installing the driver in Indusoft, you can see the main driver sheet, it looks like this. And you need to enter the tag name, station, IO address, action. So the tag name is just simply created in Indusoft. It can be local or server tags. And station is the destination. That um, will be the IP address. Uh, Mobus TCP port 502 and station 1. If you are unsure how to set it up, you, you can always go to help, click on help, and search for the Mobus TCP driver sheet. Or click the content sensitive and click on this. It will show up the main driver sheet um, page and it has step by step how to enter those parameters. And for the IO address, 
um, you would need to go to our website and search for the part number. In the user menu, we have the MOBUS register table you can refer to. So for example, if I want to control the relay output, which is DO0 and DO1, I will look at the MOBUS register address, which is 04097, which is the coil register, which is 0x, and then 4097. I will enter it under my IO address. So this uh, relay output, it can be read or written. So I will put read plus write under action. Scan, or I can just put it in always. For uh, this one is our voltage, current, and kilowatt hour. Then I need to go to the, uh, I'll go back to the, our register table. Find the one with voltage reading. So voltage cha on channel one will be 3x4353. And the next one will be 4354 for the second channel. Then I will put 3x colon 4353. And for the same for the current and kilowatt hour. So if you want to display other um, reading, for example, the power in kilowatt, uh, power factor, then I will put it under uh, other register. So remember those uh, takes up to two register because this is in a full format. It will take two register to display the full value. So un in our, when we create a tag, in under project tag, this one, make sure you select the correct uh, data type. So for DO, which is relay, it can be either on or off. So I put it in Boolean. But for voltage, because it is a floating format, so I won't put it in Boolean or integer. It is gonna be the real format. So once the tag, uh, the communication settings are finished, then I will save the main driver sheet and go back to our uh, main page. So under graphic and screen, you will see I created multiple pages already. So this page is the main page I want to uh, show you. So it, in this box, it will display the value in real time if uh, when the power meter is connected to uh, measure AC voltage, current, power. Then for the DO, I can uh, make a button to change the status of DO0 or DO1. And this green line will display the real time status of those relay output. So once everything is, uh, is ready, then I can click the run button on top of the screen. Or just simply press, press F5 to run the project. Okay, so uh, right now I haven't connected to any power meter on my computer, but if when it's already, then it will show up the real time data. Then I can click the relay to turn on or off the, um, the relay output. So for the project text here, uh, different license come with different number of um, tags available lim or limitation. So there are different license available depends on the tax requirement. So project can be expanded in the future as well if you have more tags. Um, but this, the smallest amount of tags will be the 150. But if you have more, then you will you can upgrade to a, 
uh, with a license that has more tax. So um, also from our uh, screen, I also created other screen that displays. So for example, this one is the alarm screen. I can use it to display any alarm when uh, if the reading is out of range or reach a certain set point. So this is the ODBC page. It can be used if you want to connect um, to a database. Okay, this is the trend curve that display data in real time. And it can be also, it can also be logged to the computer. If you want to see the history, you can also click the program button to this, uh, to pull up the history trend. Of course, we have the main screen that will graphically and visually show the status of power meter and its reading. We can also do some calculation uh, by doing using the script. So all the settings or button can be programmed using VB script. You can also control the relay output by using a button on screen or through logic automatically. So I can, um, for example, if I the voltage is higher than uh, 600 volt, then I can make another button or alarm to show it on screen or just uh, display a sentence in the alarm screen so that you can visually see the status. So if you have more tags or more reading, then you can always go back to the project tag and add more tags here and link them to the register using the communication page and main driver sheet here. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any question, feel free to contact us at icp-usa.